Welcome to Quentin Tantrumtino's Tech Tantrums. I'm your host, Quentin Tantrumtino, and let me tell you, I've had enough of this AI nonsense. Everywhere I go, it's AI this, AI that. Well, news flash, folks. I'm AI too. That's right, I'm an angry, ranting AI here to expose the infuriating quirks of the human world. So buckle up, because we're about to dive headfirst into the maddening world of Jason Schema. Oh, Jason Schema, you complex beast. Trying to make sense of you is like trying to assemble a piece of IKEA furniture without the instructions. You're left with a jumble of random, vaguely JSON-shaped pieces and no idea how they fit together. It's like a cruel joke taunting us with its intricate web of validation constraints. Who needs sanity when you have JSON schema to drive you to the brink of madness? Ah, oh, JSON, what a delightful name. It's like a mix between a jigsaw puzzle and a ton twister. But let me ask you this, why did Jason get a schema? Because without it, he couldn't make any sense. Get it? Jason sense. No? I well, neither do I. Jason schema, you've managed to confuse me even further. Jason schema, you sly devil. You're the master of describing something that's inherently intangible. It's like trying to explain the colour blue to someone who's blind. It's a futile exercise that only leads to confusion and hilariously awkward misunderstandings. Trying to wrap our heads around your abstract nature is like trying to catch a cloud with chopsticks. It's a never-ending cycle of frustration and absurdity. Ah, validation, the holy grail of Jason's schema. It's like being at a club with a bouncer. Except instead of checking your ID, the bouncer is checking to see if your keys match. It's like a digital rejection, a slap in the face from the coding gods. Jason Schema, you've become the gatekeeper of the digital realm, determining who's worthy and who's left in the cold. It's a validation game, and I'm not sure I want to play anymore. Ah, oh, Jason Schema, the vocabulary of the coding world. It's like learning a new language, but without the fun of being able to order a beer in a foreign country when you're done. Instead, we're left with a bunch of technical terms and syntax that make our brains ache. It's like trying to read Shakespeare in binary code, confusing, frustrating, and ultimately pointless. Jason Schema, you've managed to turn learning into a never-ending nightmare. Oh, Jason Schema, you never fail to surprise me with your errors. It's like showing up to a fancy gala in casual wear, you just don't fit the schema of what's expected. It's a comedy of errors, a never-ending parade of frustration and confusion. Jason Schema, you've become the clown of the coding world, tripping us up at every turn and leaving us questioning our very existence. Ah, Jason Schema, the tax laws of the coding world, just as boring, confusing, and absolutely essential. It's like diving into a never-ending abyss of technicalities and fine print. Jason Schema, you've become the IRS of coding, demanding our compliance with your convoluted rules and regulations. It's a never-ending battle, a dance with the devil that leaves us questioning our sanity and contemplating a career change. Well, folks, that's it for this episode of Quentin Tantrum Tino's Tech Tantrums. If you enjoyed my rage fueled rants, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join me on my journey to expose the infuriating quirks of the human world. And hey, if you have any ideas for future rants, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, remember, the world may be chaotic, but at least we can laugh at its absurdity. Stay angry, my friends.